Greetings from Paris. <laughs> You're sneaky. We are not gonna be friends. Aww. 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 Uh, it feels very emotional. My beautiful people, the time has come. I am finally being paid to visit my favorite city in this world, which is Paris, obviously. And those who don't like Paris, actually, you can just now switch off the video uh, because we are not gonna be friends. But by the way, like if you don't like Paris, like why? Would you just leave the comment down below? I'm really curious. Um, maybe we can have some discussion. I want to see your point of view. Uh, so what, can I call myself an influencer now? Uh, not really, I'm still a very proud of cabin crew. I've been to Paris, I know Paris, I have lived in Paris for one year. Coming back to a place that I used to call home. And I would like to just tell you a little story. The story why Paris become my favorite city. Ah, uh, so happy to be here. Weather is mental, it's 34 degrees. And yalla, let's see what Paris has to offer today. By the way, I took this footage of my hotel room, but if I knew at the time about the bed bugs invasion, I would rather check my bed sheets properly before going to sleep instead of taking the photos of it. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Have I ever mentioned Korean girls are my favorite to travel with? On this trip to Paris, it was Eden who accompanied me. It was even more special because it was her first trip to Paris. And the moment to see the Eiffel Tower for the first time is magical. I was very happy to witness her seeing the Eiffel Tower for the first time. <laughs> yes! Oh, I'm so happy you like it! I must be honest with you, this part of Paris is special for me not only because of the Eiffel Tower. This is the place where I buy my favorite crepes. Little bit unusual, not with Nutella, but with white chocolate. You can rarely find them in other capris and it's my absolute obsession when in Paris. Cheers. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. A little Bonsoir. coffee break and then we separated because I had things to share with you guys. But I'm still awkwardly shy in front of camera, especially in public as you can see. So let's start from the beginning. My fascination with friends grew slowly with the amount of books that I was required to read in high school. Somehow every story began, ended or occurred in France. After that, I had an opportunity to learn a third language either Russian or French. My choice was motivated to not learn the Russian language uh, rather than a sincere enthusiast towards the French one. And the fascination, I think it, it's, a, it's not the right word, I would say. It was more like a deep curiosity, what France is about. And that time, the dream to live in Paris was so out of my mind. So again, be careful what you're dreaming of because your dreams might become true. It all started with uh, love. I found my French boyfriend on uh, an Erasmus exchange in Istanbul. We were together for three years and thanks to this relationship, I was able to actually have the full French experience all together with the internship, with studying, working here. And I'm forever grateful for that. It sounds easy, but actually it wasn't at all. Of course, long distance relationship. We had to visit each other every sometime. Him in Poland and me in Paris. In order for me to get an internship in Paris, it was such a struggle. And I don't know how to think about it because, you know, they say don't chase, attract, whatever is meant for me will, will simply find you. But if I didn't chase this dream of uh, working here, so I was sending a lot of applications to the hotels, uh, hostels, wherever uh, they would hire me. Uh, for my internship it wasn't happening only one place replied and i made my dreams come true after hundreds of my of applications so i really chased that dream my eiffel towers like this is definitely something that you should do in paris buy little eiffel towers So 
after the internship in uh, Paris, I got another opportunity to actually study in, uh, in Paris. But actually, I didn't have the opportunity. I had to create it. I asked one of the schools in Bordeaux, where my university had a partnership, I asked them if I can study in the same uh, branch, but in Paris. There was a lot of arrangements for me to be able to make this change. But again, it did happen. And what it turns out that my school was actually walkable distance from the apartment I was living with my boyfriend at the time. So everything worked perfectly, but it required a lot of work. So I was really chasing, but I finally attracted my dream. This guy here, many people are just saying that it's just a statue built of big amount of iron. But for me, it was something much more than just a monument that I wanted to Mm, see that was on, for a long time on my bucket list. It was a symbol of my determination and a reflection of all my dreams. Honestly, the first time that I saw Eiffel Tower, I cried. Uh, it was very emotional for me and I will always remember it. Uh, and every time I'm, I come to Paris, like this is the first place I go into. I always say hi to this little baby, another little. And that was the highlight of the day. Just passing by, I was lucky to witness a wedding ceremony on the boat with a view of Eiffel Tower. What a beautiful dreamy venue to get married. That day I was on a mission. Inspired by Pinterest autumn vibes, I wanted to buy myself the French beret. The sales guy was so kind to even style it for me. It fits my outfit today. If it wasn't 40 degrees, I would probably be very fashionable. I like it. Yeah. Yes. Aww. <laughs> I take it. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> I also wanted to have the iconic French restaurant experience, but unfortunately all of their restaurants looked like this. Another iconic French landmark, Louis Vuitton, with forever long lines in front of the entrance. Even though I wasn't able to dine in La Durée, I managed to buy some extremely overpriced French macarons, so I don't come back home empty-handed. This place was on my bucket list since long, long time. Angelina was founded in 1903 and was often visited by Coco Chanel. Say no more. I had to try their famous chocolate pudding. I must admit, interior was mind-blowing. It's about, I don't know, 35 degrees outside. It's really, really hot and uh, what I had to do it, hot chocolate in the midst of summer. Oh God. That was absolutely mind-blowing. I, uh, I think that the desert that I had uh, was in the top five desserts I've ever had in my life. It was so good. Chocolate, hot chocolate. I thought it looked like pudding, but it is very rich. Service is amazing. The interior is beautiful, so Instagramable. The vibe in Paris, especially now, it's so warm, evening. It's so beautiful. I really don't know how people can hate Paris. Uh, like what makes them um, not like the city, like, I don't know, really, it's uh, the best place for me. The sky over Paris is unique, completely different from all other skies. I don't wish at this point to use shallow epithets. The best way to summarize my feeling is to mention that my photo albums back then with pictures of Paris are filled with images of its sky. Bonjour! This is day two in Paris. A little bit added to the video, <laughs> like quite a bit because um, it's two weeks later and I ended up in Paris again on another layover with a completely different crew and completely different teeth. I just started braces in the meantime and I speak a little bit like not myself, 
please bear with me today with uh, absolutely no plan i just want to breathe paris so i will just go as the crew follows i think we'll go first for some lunch um some groceries of course i say hi to eiffel tower and let's see how the day goes <laughs> Ending up in Champs-Élysées again, but I can't complain. I love Baby Street, strangers watching and window shopping. I was in the city exactly during fashion week and you could really feel the spirit of fashion shows. And that was our kind of fashion on this layover. Are you a football fan? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so cute! A very traditional dish, uh, fish and chips. <laughs> uh, onion soup. And duck. Trust me, it tastes better than it looks. It is said that it was invented by none other than King Louis XV, late one night at his hunting lodge when he was very hungry. When he only found onions, butter and champagne in his pantry, he decided to use the three ingredients to make the French onion soup for the very first time. How was your lunch? I love it. Nice, huh? Yeah. Okay. I love it, baby. Oh, nice! That's so cute! <laughs> Let's go, where are we going now? Eiffel Tower. Yay! Say hi to Eiffel Tower. French architecture is something that captivated me completely. Especially the interiors of these buildings. Characteristic doorknobs, decorated ceilings, tuned chandeliers, wooden floor creaking and my absolute favorites, out of order fireplaces and huge mirrors on top of them. In Poland, this type of interior would belong to a luxury in antique style for any old enough apartment. How are you today? Lovely. Oh, like you. Great company, great place, yeah. amazing food. Uh, very special week. What else you want from life? <laughs> it wasn't intended to visit the next Parisian spot, but we discovered it by accident. I heard about it many times. This tunnel is a place of the fatal car accident that Princess Diana died in. It's been 26 years since then and this is how her memorial looks like. I like it. Yeah. But it's big, it's I think. But I cannot like it's untie yours. my hair. It's yours. <laughs> You're sneaky. <laughs> Greetings from Paris. I told you that Eiffel Tower area is my spot for white chocolate crepe. And do you remember the wedding on the boat in front of the Eiffel Tower? It turned out it wasn't that original idea as I initially thought, as I witnessed another one on my second visit. Still, my favorite spot I've seen for marriage. Sylvester will kill me again, I didn't buy croissant, but I didn't forget to buy wine. Waiting for the sunset. And another onion soup for today. Yes. Because we're in France. Mm -hmm. How is it? It's nice. Then I say, yes. Did 
I make you like Paris a little bit more? Please let me know in the comment. And if you want to make me feel warm and fuzzy inside, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And see you in the next one. Bye!